Hi, it's Katrina. From beautiful rainbow coloring to dramatic eyelashes, here are nine of the most amazing snake species in the world. Number 9. Emerald Green Pit Viper The Emerald Green Pit Viper was first discovered in the eastern Himalayan mountains of the nation of Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, in 2002. Since the species was discovered relatively recently, there's still a lot to learn about it. It belongs to a genus of at least 32 species of venomous pit vipers endemic to parts of Asia, including the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, China, and the Pacific Islands. So far we know that the emerald green pit viper can grow at least four and a half feet long, but its maximum size might be even longer. It can be recognized by its strikingly vibrant shade of green, but this bright coloring is also warning you that it is venomous. They love to hang out in trees where they can easily camouflage themselves in the jungle foliage. The green pit viper's venom can be fatal. It causes local swelling and stops your blood from clotting, so depending on where it bites you, it can cause damage to your internal organs. Luckily, there's only a 50% chance that the snake will release its venom in a defensive bite. It's better to just avoid them by wearing long boots to protect your legs if you're ever out walking in the jungle, and pay attention to the canopy above you. Number 8. The Giant Anaconda also known as the green anaconda, the giant anaconda is the largest snake species in the world. While it might not be the longest, it is the biggest when it comes to its length to weight ratio. Do you know what the longest snake in the world is? Leave me your guess in the comments below. The answer is coming up. Weighing in at around 550 pounds, this massive member of the boa family is found mainly in the rainforest of the Amazon, although it is now found in the Everglades in the United States. Kind of a scary thought. People that got them as pets couldn't handle them anymore and just let them go into the wild. These guys are thriving in Florida since the climate is perfect for them. Its average length is 17 feet, although it can grow up to 30 feet long and get to about one foot in diameter. In the wild, the average lifespan of a green anaconda is 10 years, and they can immediately swim and hunt when they're born. Anacondas are not venomous, so a victim of a green anaconda is unlikely to be bitten. You probably know by now that the snake's chosen form of execution for its prey is to suffocate it to death by drowning them, or simply by squeezing its body tightly around them until they stop breathing. Number 7. The Emerald Tree Boa the emerald tree boa can be found in the wetlands and tropical rainforests of several South American countries, including Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, Guyana, Suriname, and northwestern Brazil. It's not dependent on open water, but often dwells along rivers, especially the Amazon River. This species has an average length of 6 feet, but can grow up to 9 feet long. Due to its slow metabolism, the emerald tree boa can often go months without eating. Around four to six months of age, juvenile snakes acquire the bright emerald green color that the species is known for, with intermittent white lightning bolt zigzags throughout. Like most other non-venomous species, the emerald tree boa kills its prey via constriction. It's a solitary, tree-dwelling species, and encounters with humans are unlikely. The snake's diet consists mainly of birds and lizards, along with the occasional small arboreal mammal. In the wild, the emerald tree boa has an average lifespan of 15 years, and in captivity, it can live up to 20 years. Number 6. The Red Milk Snake The red milk snake inhabits a vast territory from southern Canada down through the United States all the way to northern South America, so you may have even come across one. This snake prefers rocky environments, including hillsides, pastures, and woodland clearings. Its maximum length is 5 feet, and most are smaller, sometimes reaching only 20 inches. The species is known for its characteristic tricolor markings, consisting of a red, saddle-shaped design that's bordered by black and separated by pale bands. This exciting coloring is actually mimicking the venomous coral snake to hopefully scare away potential predators. Can you tell the difference? Coral snakes sometimes lack typical banding and color patterns, so you should be careful if you ever see one of these, just in case. The non-venomous red milk snake primarily feasts on rodents, but is opportunistic and will also eat fish, reptiles, birds, bird eggs, and even other snakes. Number 5. The Brazilian Rainbow Boa The Brazilian Rainbow Boa is found primarily in the Amazon River Basin, as well as coastal Guiana, French Guiana, Suriname, and southern Venezuela. This species typically dwells near water in hot and wet tropical and subtropical broadleaved forests. At first glance, the Brazilian rainbow boa may not seem like one of nature's most beautiful snakes, despite its admittedly attractive reddish-brown coloring and unique ringed pattern. 
However, if you take a second look, you'll notice that this snake's soft skin has an iridescent shine encompassing all colors of the rainbow, making it even more visually appealing. The rainbow-colored effect is caused by tiny ridges on the scales that act as prisms and reflect light. This medium-sized species averages 4 to 6 feet in length, although specimens occasionally exceed 7 feet long. Females are often longer than males. However impressive, the Brazilian rainbow boa isn't huge, with bigger females reaching up to 9 pounds. It is, however, the largest of the 12 or so recognized rainbow boa subspecies throughout Central and South America. This non-venomous snake typically ambushes and constricts its prey. Because of its relatively small size, it's considered non-threatening to humans. In the wild, the Brazilian rainbow boa feasts mostly on small mammals, rodents, birds, bird eggs, lizards, and frogs. Number 4. San Francisco Garter Snake The San Francisco Garter Snake is one of the most endangered and beautiful serpents in North America. All known specimens live in the bayside and coastal wetlands of California's San Mateo County. Known for its eye-popping coral, black, and deep red striped pattern, this species is officially on the endangered list, with a remaining population of only 1 to 2,000 adults. It's hard to catch a glimpse of one of these rare beauties, who tend to flee for cover or water when disturbed. They feed mostly on the California red-legged frog, which is a federally listed threatened species, and juvenile bullfrogs as well as Pacific tree frogs. So if you're a frog, you're in trouble. Various types of development have contributed to the decimation of the San Francisco garter snake population, including agricultural, residential, commercial, and recreational development. Up to 44 different toxic pesticides that are used in the San Francisco Bay and its surrounding water habitats have also negatively affected the species. As part of their efforts to restore the San Francisco garter snake population to a healthy number, the Center for Biological Diversity is currently in the process of challenging the Environmental Protection Agency's authorization of the use of these toxic chemicals. I mean, they aren't good for anybody. Number 3. The Blue Viper Known more formally as the white-lipped island pit viper, this snake is found on Indonesia's Lesser Sunda Islands. It's related to the white-lipped pit viper, which is endemic to Southeast Asia, but there's a noticeable difference between the species. While most of them are emerald green in color, in certain places such as Komodo Island, you know, the one with the dragons, this snake can also come in a beautiful shade of light blue. The blue version of the subspecies is very hard to find. At first, scientists thought that maybe this snake went through some sort of color change, which happens among various snake species. But in addition to its unique hue, it possesses the additional rare trait of being blue its entire life. In an interview with Australian Geographic, Stephen Mahoney of the Herpetology Department at the Australian Museum pointed out that there is also a bright yellow version of the white-lipped island pit viper endemic to other islands. Regardless of its color, this island-dwelling viper is one of the most common causes of venomous bites in Bali, and it tends to favor fight over flight. While the species tends to favor bushlands and bamboo forests, those in search of food, such as mice or lizards, occasionally enter populated areas. Being bitten by one comes with unpleasant symptoms, such as excessive internal and external bleeding, necrosis of the flesh, pain, and swelling. On the bright side, these bites are rarely fatal. If you want to see blue snakes, you don't have to brave Komodo. There are several snakes from all over the world that come in blue, and you might be able to see one at your local zoo. Number 2. The Eyelash Viper The eyelash viper is found throughout Central and South America, pit viper species that is named after a set of scales over its eyes that resemble eyelashes. Cute, right? Scientists are still trying to figure out what these eyelashes are for. Females and males look alike, although females tend to be larger than males. Adults grow up to two feet long. Eyelash vipers tend to be smaller than other pit viper species. This brightly hued snake exists in various colors, with bright green and yellow being the most popular. For camouflage purposes, the snake's shade depends on its surroundings. For example, the yellow eyelash viper often lurks near bananas, while the green version prefers to hide in vegetation. A few have accidentally been shipped around the world in banana boxes, and they are a popular species in the exotic pet trade. This snake typically only attacks when threatened, but it's best to avoid an encounter with one and to admire it from a distance, as its venom is powerful enough to kill both humans and large mammals. Its venom can cause severe pain, swelling, bruising, necrosis, and in general, start shutting down your system. Number 1. The Banded Sea Crate 
Also called the yellow-lipped sea crate, the banded sea crate is an amphibious snake species found in the Indo-Pacific Ocean. It's named after the black vertical stripes that cover its white body. Many people are terrified of these snakes, but they are actually pretty calm and quiet. The banded sea crate possesses fast-acting potent venom, enabling it to hunt fast-moving fish among coral reefs. To give you an idea, its paralyzing venom is more poisonous than that of a rattlesnake. Although this snake is highly poisonous, like I said, it tends to be non-aggressive and is even docile. Humans run a relatively low risk of being bitten by one, as long as they maintain a respectful distance. Females grow up to 50 inches long and are as much as three times heavier than males, who reach a maximum length of 30 inches. They are different from sea snakes in that they don't spend their entire life in the water. They return to land to digest their prey, which can sometimes take several weeks. They also need to return to land to breed and drink fresh water. Thanks for watching! Which snake is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!